Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, beautiful people. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Y'all ain't gonna believe what just had happened was. <laughs> Hey, Matthew, I saw you in there. I saw you. I'm coming. I was sorry I'm late. It's like 20 minutes after. Look, what y'all doing out there? I'm going to wait till y'all come in here. Let me see what's going on. Look, I'm going to I'm gonna do like Fred Sanford. I'm going to have to switch some glasses in a few minutes so I can start reading some of this stuff because I can't hardly see. Say something if you in there. Y'all let me know. Let me know. <laughs> Y'all let me know. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Let me know. Y'all, my nerves plucked. I'm getting ready to light a cigarette. And I'm going to tell y'all in a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to smoke today. I'm going to smoke this one. I'm going I'm to let y'all know why. Hey, hey, Matthews. Hey, baby. Look, I, you a trip. <laughs> you be tripping me out. You the funniest dude I know. You are silly as fuck. You got the right title. <laughs> can y'all see me good? <laughs> I know, cigarette, no, I know. But look, I got to tell you what happened. Look, I, I, I shouldn't do it, though. Look, I got one. I shouldn't do it. I don't think I'm going to do it. Yeah, because that, that, that shit ain't good for you. Plus, I just got through smelling a lot of smoke, a whole lot of smoke. Let me tell y'all what I did. So what had happened was, here I am. I mean, you know, it's cold outside, right? It's like, let me see what you said, cigarettes. No, it's... uh. It's one of those days. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's one of those days. It's such one, it's so one of those days. And what I did was I said, I'm gonna start a fire. So I'm looking over here because my fireplace, I'm in my living room, my fireplace over this way, right? So I went out there and I got my little stuff together, you know, got my little logs and got my sticks and uh, you know, to, to start my fire. Came in here, did the little newspaper, twisting that all up and all that kind of stuff. And um, I put this, put this stuff on in there and shoo, strike my little <laughs> my lighter startup. And threw it on in the thing. And I went on about my business, right? Knowing that the fire was going to get kicked up. Man, when I tell you the fire got kicked up, it got kicked up. And here's why. It's like, um, it was like maybe, maybe about six weeks ago, I want to say. We swept the, trim, the chimney. Because, you know, after the winter, you're supposed to sweep the chimney before you start fire again. You know, you don't want that carbon monoxide to back up in the house and stuff, right? So um, what had happened is they closed the fluke. And so the fluke was closed. And here I am with the fire just jumping. I'm like, what the hell? I mean, all the uh, fire alarms and stuff in the house went off and shit. <laughs> yeah, it get very dirty, right? All the fire, the fire alarms and stuff went, I mean, the house was lighting up. Beep, 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 beep. The dogs, they over there now getting they quiet now because they was nervous. They up there, they barking and because they can't, when the, um, I taught them that when they hear a fire alarm, that they're supposed to run to the front and the back door. So they was going back and forth, back and forth, right? You know, and uh, my daughter was here. She was getting ready to go to work. She in the bathroom. She doing her makeup and shit. <laughs> hey, queen, how you doing, babe? I hope all is well. Yeah, she was doing her makeup and stuff. And she come out there with one eyelash on and one off. Mama, it's smoke all over the house. Mama, what is going on? What's... I said, girl. <laughs> Y'all, this shit is so funny. I said, girl, open up the windows. Just open up the windows. And here I am in here. And I had just took some of the ash out of the um, fireplace because my husband have a way of starting fires where it really pisses me off. And after he started the fire and stuff, he don't believe in cleaning out the fireplace afterwards. I don't like no mess, so I like to clean the fireplace out afterwards. But anyway, so here I am. I had cleaned it out first before I could even use it. And, um, you know, the bottom part of it. And so I had a bucket of ash and I was thinking about the video that I was going to tell you guys about, about how you can do um, ashes and how you can use it for fertilizer for your garden and stuff. I'm going to tell y'all about that in another video because Lord have mercy, I'm going to stick to the subject. All right. Hey, everybody coming in. I got to get this off because I'm just as nervous as hell because y'all, I could have burnt the damn house down because I mean, and or either pass out from that um smoke and my house now smells so smoky. And you know how, um, like when we used to go to school, we had fireplace, and when the and when, when mom and dad didn't pay the uh didn't we, we heated by oil, and when she got cut off and we didn't have no money, we had kerosene heaters. And um, you know how your people go to school and they used to tease you because your clothes, your coats and stuff smell like that kerosene, <laughs> that old shit. <laughs> so that now the house smell like um it smelled just like smoke, and I'm like Lord. But anyway, uh, what I was saying, yeah, okay, so that fluke won't close. So what I wind up doing is taking the ashes that I had already took outside 
and this is the fastest way to put the fire out. I took all the ashes and came back in the house and threw the ashes on the fireplace over, over top the fire. I just took it through it, not hard, but just kind of sprinkled it over that good. And I tried to take a rag and open that fluke up. I still, that thing still stuck. So whoever shut it, they shut it real tight. And um, then I went and got some water and I put a little bit of water and a little bit of vinegar in the water and poured it over the, not a lot so it can flood my dad on living room and stuff. I poured just enough over top of it so it can um, smother the fire down. And once it smothered it down, I took a cardboard box, you know, and, and tore it up and, and put it on top of the logs and all that stuff to smother it down. But in the meantime, the house was full of smoke and the everything would just be... <laughs> Show sure shit, y'all. I want to And I told you I had wanted to talk to y'all. And I had a whole lot to say, but then I got a whole lot of bold shit to say. Okay, so I'm looking at y'all. Let me read some of what y'all say. So, yo, you talking about the cigarettes? No, yes, yeah, very dirty. And hey, Gina. Hey, everybody coming in. All is well. I'm doing good. The family is doing good. The, the family doing good. I'm surprised we're doing so good. I mean, it's like I'm surprised. I mean, you know, we think about we and that's something I want. That's why I'm gonna talk about to y'all today, too. I'm just what I want to tell you about. Y'all will trip over this. Um, you said my dad did it. Your dad did that before. Oh, your dad did it before, but Matthew. <laughs> he, I mean, they did. yeah, that fire, uh, that thing, that float, that fluke won't close. And man, when that smoke come back in here, that ain't no joke. And I told y'all, it's like uh 18, 18 or 20 degrees out there today. Mm-hmm. Uh I'm a <laughs> Matthew said I'm a real life MacGyver. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, boy, I know some tricks. But when you're in a state of, um, like, you know, I try not to panic. So I'm kind of, I kind of think kind of calm, but I knew I had to think fast. Because if I didn't, that shit would have been out of control for real, for real. And I would have burned down some shit. But now I'm worried about now, because I told you I'd be painting too. And I did, uh, y'all remember I painted uh, part of my room and I was doing that wall. I haven't even finished that yet. I had to stop. But um, um, and, and see, and this wall right here, you might can't see it. It's light blue. My husband painted this, and I still gonna paint the rest of this like a a cream gray. I mean, a cream uh white. And I I have all the painting stuff here. I got all and see, that's another thing. If that fire had got set up with that fight uh paint, sh you talking about an explosion? It would have been terrible. Um, what you said? Okay, Matthew, what you say? Oh yeah, I do. I know that carbon monoxide will poison you. We have the, those detectors too in the house, the carbon monoxide um thing. But we have central um central air, central heat is what I heat by though. And like I said, I just wanted to keep that fireplace on because I just wanted to snuggle up with my pooches, come on here and holler at y'all for a little bit. You know, just try to take it down a notch because shit has been going on all around here. I mean, it's just been busy. Okay, and speaking of that, now. He, he, he just forgot to open it. Yeah, he did. But I, he going to smell that smoke when he come around here later on. He going to smell it. But um, I wanted to tell y'all this. Okay, so so it's like it's been so much going on. Like, I've been feeling like, remember I told y'all I had to go to the doctor because I wanted to flush my ears out and stuff because sometimes you just feel a little off balance and stuff. So I was feeling off balance. So I said to myself, self, and then plus my family, yo, yo, you need to slow down. Yo, you do too much. You do too much, which is true. And sometimes you see how you see how fast I'm talking. That's how my mind thinks sometimes. It like so sometimes I have to remind myself, even through the exercise, the yoga, and everything that I do, I have to remind myself to take it down some, to take it down some, right? All right. So I haven't talked to you. The last video I made is when I was um getting those turkeys ready to feed my guys. And guess what? They already had Thanksgiving dinner. So when anybody else coming in and get them stuff this week, that's fine. <laughs> but I already took care of them, right? With that part. Um, but um, I have to remind myself to slow it down some. So after I did all of that, I told myself, I said, so you ain't gonna talk. You know, I mean, you know, I was on like here on, on on YouTube with you guys some a little bit, but I wasn't doing the whole lot. It was just basically kind of laid back, you know, kind of laid back because I wanted to hear what my spirit had to say. Sometimes you have to lay back and hear what your spirit have to say, you know, because you could be so busy and, and bogged down with this going on, with all this goings on, right? And then I had thought this too. I told my husband, I said, you know, I said, I think, um, not, you, you, because your insides, be, you be feeling kind of jittery and nervous. Not, not nervous. Not even anxious. It's almost like, uh, for me, I feel like if I'm not doing nothing, I feel like I always have to do something. Something. It's always something to do. In my opinion, it's always something to do. I feel like you're wasting time if you just idle. You know. Uh, I think, and I believe, an idle mind is a devil workshop because when you're not 
doing something and being productive. I ain't talking about just doing something like on a treadmill and not really getting nowhere. I'm talking about doing something and seeing your accomplishment, being productive. That's how I was raised, right? So anyway, now I know y'all saying, yo, you rallying. Yeah, and it may be true, <laughs> but all of the stuff I've been wanting to say to you guys. All right. So, but I told my husband, I said, you know, I said, maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop drinking coffee because I drink uh, coffee, two cups. Y'all know I love my coffee, two cups of coffee every day, right? I do that every day. I've been doing it for years. All right. And if I don't have that coffee, I don't want to fool with nobody. I don't want nobody to talk to me. I don't want to fool with nobody. I don't want nobody to talk to me at all. I went, y'all know I go and get in my hole in the morning, go outside. I, I did that this morning. I don't care how cold it is. I go out there with that coffee, right? All right. Now, with that being said, it's only a very few people that know that's what I do. And that's what I've been doing all my life, you know? It's, it's, it's someone I've been, you know, it's grown drinking coffee, right? I should be listening, looking at what y'all saying. Oh, Penny doing good. She over there laying on her butt. She in her chair over there laying on her butt. Just got through um, nibbling. Oh, yeah, I do have a nice coffee maker. My kids and stuff, they bought me a real nice one. But I like my old one, but I, I, I try to use it because they, you know, they did buy for me, so. But that's so why I do that Maxwell, uh, yeah, no, that Folgers coffee. That's what I like to drink. So I told my husband, I said, I need to back up off of that. You know, I said, because maybe that right there is making me feel that, you know, feel kind of busy, you know, <laughs> but she is, you make you feel kind of busy. Right. So, and I said, I'm gonna start, maybe I'll just drink decaf. So anyway, for two days, I didn't drink any coffee. I drank um, green tea. Right. I just drank some green tea and this was just one cup. But I still was feeling something. It, but it wasn't the coffee. It was something heavier and I couldn't explain. It. And I was telling my mama, mama, it's something, something is off. Not physically, not, not uh in this world, but something is off with my spirit. And I can't figure it out, you know? All right, now let me get to the meat of this, y'all. Y'all ready? My mama got me drinking green tea. Green tea is good for you though. It's good for you. It's not, there's nothing wrong with it. But get to, for me, I like the decaf kind. You know, the kind that's not, or they got some just with caffeine in it too, I noticed. But yeah, I had a, uh, a cup of, of that. But nothing replaced that daggone coffee. Okay. And look, so y'all, um, yeah, that was my, it was spiritual. It's deep. It's so spiritual, Virginia. You're going to trip out. Y'all going to, I'm going to show you better than I can tell y'all. Okay, check this out. Now listen close. Now some people going to run away because people, um, a lot of people, Ain't, ain't, ain't there. They don't understand it, but you gonna understand it. Okay, so look. So uh I just like I want to just spit it out real quick, but I gotta set the stage. I'm a writer, y'all know I'm a writer, I'm an author, I got books and stuff out. Not that y'all have to buy them, but I, I'm a I'm I'm a published author, uh, author and been writing books for a long time. But also I'm a ghostwriter from time to time when I have time to do it. Okay, so I have I have to build up what I'm saying to you. <laughs> Cause that's that's how my mind works. So bear with me, right? Okay. So uh, my oldest brother that just passed, y'all know he just passed, right? Y'all know y'all been there. Y'all was there with me. I didn't even know you were at all. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Or Amazon.com. I'm I'm there. My books are there. I got books called Yo Thoughts. I have a book called Anna Secrets. I have a book called um, Won't He Do It. Uh, and the, that book is uh, was uh, the won't he do it part was a uh, play that I wrote and they um, performed it here in Richmond, well Richmond, Virginia is where I'm from on stage. I, I let I sold a part of it to let them, you know, they wanted to buy buy that from me. I didn't sell the rights, but I let them use it to make a play out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told you I don't did a lot of stuff, y'all. Y'all y'all just don't know about me. It's just so much. But okay, so getting back to this part, uh, getting back to the part about um, what I was saying, Pacino, you threw me off. <laughs> you threw me off. <laughs> um, uh, what I was saying. Oh yeah, 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 about the coffee. Okay, so look, all right, so look, I don't go on Facebook as much. I used to be on Facebook, but I don't go on Facebook since I've been messing with YouTube, and you know, so some uh, my uh, cousin, y'all know how y'all have cousins that live in y'all, they live in the same town or state you y'all live in, and y'all um. Y'all don't have no problems with each other in y'all family, but y'all don't talk to each other every day. And every now and then you might hit each other up and say, hey, how the family? What y'all doing? Everybody good? Like that. All right. Well, I have this one family family member and her name is Rose. And um, and uh, she knew, knew that my brother died because we are first cousins. We are, we are first cousins, right? And so she knew my brother passed and all that, went to the funeral, all that. And so we ain't talk no more for a minute. So. It was, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to tell y'all the date because I have her in face and uh, messenger, right? 
she uh, messaged me on Facebook. And so, and like I said, I don't look at it. But yesterday, for some reason, before I tell y'all that, yeah, yesterday, for some reason, um, some say I was sitting in my chair in my room, right back, you know, with the dogs at the end. They was, they was on my chair, you know, chilling. And for some reason, I said, let me let me just look on Facebook and I see what I had. You know how somebody messaged you and you how your messenger, how it be messaged, how they message you? Well, look, that was her. Look, so here's what she said to me. Check this out. Y'all check this out. Y'all gonna really trip. She said to me, she said, she said, Grand Rising, cuz I pray, uh, I pray you and the family are coming along. I know it's such a slow process, but you all will get through. Pass my love to the family, right? That's cuz, right? And that was Sunday at 1117, all right, which was yesterday, the day Monday. So I hit her back. And, I, and this was at 501. Mind you, after that, I'm going to tell you, let me read this and I'm going to tell you what happened before that. So I was like, hey, cuz, I'm sorry, I'm just getting your message. Um, I said, thanks. I said, thanks so much. We're coming along. I said, you're right. It is a slow process. I said, we miss him tremendously. I said, but I'll tell everyone you send your love. Your love, you send your love to us. And I said, thanks again, cuz. And I blew her a kiss. And then she blew me a, a, a smiley faces back, right? And then she said, and so I thought that was the end of it. And that was at 501. So here I am. I said, you know what? I haven't had a cocktail in a couple of days or so. Why don't you go in there and fix you a little cocktail? So you know those little Jack, y'all know the Jack Daniel shooters that I like. Those are the ones when I do drink it. And so I put some in a glass and I came on back and I had some cashew nuts. Y'all know I like them too. I had them on the side. I read on back and I said, hmm, let me take this off the animal kingdom. Off the tell us how I was looking at old town on the YouTube channel. And I started flicking the channels and my phone said, doo-doo, you know how you get the little message? So I look at it and my brother's name was Nathaniel, but we call him Nat. And my cousins told me, she said, Net, I don't know if you can say it. She said, Net, Net, she said, Net, uh, she said, Net said, make his coffee. You see that? She said, Net said, make his coffee. And right straight away, I text her directly back and I said, tell him I certainly will. And I sent a smiley face. You see that, Matthews, right? And then I sent a smiley face back to her, right? Now, she knows nothing about me and my brother's connection with that. She know nothing, right? So she said, girl, this is what she said to me after I said, I said, she, I said, tell him I certainly will. Just cool as calm. And she said, girl, she, I want y'all to see that. She said, girl, I'm sitting here watching TV and I heard that. That's what she said. And here go me and me answering her back. I told her, I said, I believe you. Because only Nat and I knows what that means, right? And she said, wow, that's amazing. And I said to her, I said, that's that bloodline. That's that bloodline. Because, you know, we first cousins now. And that means my brother's her first cousin, too, the one that passed, right? And I said, spirit speaks. I'm thankful. And I sent her a heart. But, you know, I, my spirit started lifting after that because, you know, that feeling I told you I was feeling off. Well, after she told me that, that just did something to me spiritually. I can't explain it to you. You know, won't, I won't sad or nothing. I won't depress or nothing in the beginning. It won't none of, none of that. It won't none of that. But anyway, she said, indeed. And then so I told her bye or whatever on that conversation. But check this out. It gets deeper. It gets deeper. All right. That gets deep now. You hear that? I just told y'all that. So some say, call mom. So I called my mama and I told my mama what had happened was just a few minutes ago when I told y'all, you know, when she did that. And my mother said, you know, I never felt feel like he's gone. I'm sad that I can't see him and feel him or touch him, but I'm calm. I feel like he's still here. We've been saying that for the longest, my mother and I. And a couple of days before, me and my mama made a joke about my brother because let me tell you about the coffee joke. The coffee is, my brother used to come over to my house in the mornings before he would go on to work, go to work every morning. And he would have coffee with me. But his coffee was beer. It was a Coke 45. That's what he wanted for coffee in the morning. Yes. And guess what he did? He did like this. He would take his beer, he would, here go my coffee. And he would pop it. He would just, 
pop that top. And I used to lay his ass out and say, you don't need to be drinking that rock gut shit in the morning. You need to drink some water. I used to be getting on him. I said, you need to get your, you need to clean your system out in the morning. He said, shit, you drink that coffee. That's your coffee. This is my coffee. But, and then if I ever ran out of coffee or something and, and forget to get coffee the next day, he would come in the morning and bring coffee to my house. He, and he'll call me, hey, Gus, he called me Gus Bus. He said, hey, Gus Bus, you got that coffee on? You got your coffee ready? I'm coming for coffee. But he didn't want nothing from me. He bought his coffee with him. But nobody knew that but him and I and my mom, you know, nobody knew that. Right. All right. But it get deeper. So now. So I told I called my mama and I'm telling my mama what happened with my cousin, with our cousin. You know, it was on my, my daddy's side. Right. And um, so my mom said, yeah, she never felt like, you know, she feel like he here and not going anywhere. So I said, yeah, mama. And so I was letting her know. I said, yep, I told you. I said, mama, I told you. I said, I feel the same way. I said, um, I said, but um, he just wanted he wanted me to know. That um he wanted me to know that he was he's good and, and he wanted me to tell you. And she said, I know. I said, Well, I'm gonna talk to you later. She said, All right, talk to you later. Love you, baby. Love you, mom. And we hung up, right? Guess what happened next? It's gonna blow you away. My little brother, the only one I got handle but two, he lives with my mom. Now he was nowhere around my mom when we was having that short conversation. But guess what he did? My mama texted me this. She didn't say it out loud. She texted me this, and I'm gonna show you what she texted me. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna trip out. Look, yesterday, y'all gotta see, y'all gotta see this. Shit. I gotta get up so you can see it. Yesterday, damn, you can't even see it. I don't know how to do it where you can see it real good. Anyway, let's see if you can see it. That's my mama. Y'all see my mama? But yesterday, she said, she said, my other brother' name is Nolan, and this is six seventeen now p.m. She said. Nolan just bought me a cup of coffee. He knows I don't drink coffee at night. And he didn't hear our conversation. Nat, must have, Nat which is my other brother, must have wanted me to know in case you did not tell me. That's what my mama said to me. And I said to her, wow, I told you. I said, he, I said, he, know, he knows I told you. He wanted you to. He wanted you to know it's him. And my mama said, right. That's what she said. And then I sent her some hearts. Now, why am I telling y'all all of that? Y'all ask me that. First of all, first of all, do y'all believe it's a a coincidence? First, I want to know, know, do y'all think it's a coincidence? Because some people believe it's coincidence. Some people believe... Uh, um, or you just saying something to make you feel better, or so you or you can't come to the realization that they did, or whatever, whatever. What do y'all think about that? Now, what do y'all think about that? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you tell me what you think about that, wait a minute. Let's stop. I forgot to tell y'all this. What happened before that? What happened before that? My husband told my mama last weekend that he he they're gonna go on a date, right? They was gonna go on a date together, right? And so, but I'm there when he talking to her. He said, we going on a date. He said, uh, hey, mom, he called my mama, mom. He said, hey, mom, we going on a date next weekend. And uh, he said, we're going to have some fun. And so she was like, all right, I'm game. I'm ready. Right. And I was like there with the waves. I said, well, what about me? And my mama told me, so, well, you be the third wheel. <laughs> she did me like that, right? <laughs> she was telling me I'm the third wheel. I said, well, I'll be the third wheel. I'm coming too. So anyway, that day, which was yesterday, we picked my mama up around 11 o'clock, right, y'all? Let me, I got to read. I'm, first, let me stop. Don't, don't y'all say nothing until I say this because I want to read this. So we picked my mama up yesterday morning at 11 o'clock. And we took her over to the casino. That's what we took her. That was the date. And she was playing the casino. She was having a good time. We were all there. And then my sister and her, and her uh, daughter came, which is my niece. They came. And we all over there playing, uh, you know, gambling and stuff. And then so when we dropped mama off at home, my husband said, let's go down to Walmart. He said, um, you know, I have a, he wanted some, uh, you know, this uh, pasta with, uh, this lasagna type of pasta with vegetables in it. That's what he wanted. It's, it's about, it's by Stouffer. It's one of those days. That's what he felt like he wanted to eat with some garlic bread. I said, that's what you want? Well, go ahead. Cause I'm going to eat some baked chicken that I already had at home. You go ahead, but I'll go with you. And we went down to the uh, store and Walmart down in there. And we was walking around and you know what I told him? I said, Hey, I said, you know what? I'm going to get me a can. Instead of Folgers, I got some Folgers here. I'm going to get a can of decaffeinated coffee with no caffeine in it. I got a small can, off-brand, never drank it before, of decaffeinated coffee. Now, this is all before I got that text from my uh, cousin. You see? 
And then to top that off, y'all know, I told y'all when my uh, brother was in the hospital that he sent his phone, his his cell phone to me. I have his cell phone. He sent me, he gave me his cell phone because I didn't have, I didn't go put no, uh, get put, pay my phone bill. And so he sent his cell phone uh, to, a couple of days before he died to me for me to have it, to keep it and use it. You see? Now, all right, now y'all talk. Let me read some. I gotta go. Oh, my said, Wow, that cuz, oh, cuz, he ain't, yeah, I know he ain't gone. I know it. Yeah, he, <laughs> I still say, yeah, Bill D, we have a code 45. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's old. that's a rock god. I don't know why he drank that, man. In honor of you, must drink. Oh, hell no, I ain't drinking no code 45 for no brother. Uh uh, not I, you are. Uh. And you're right, Regina, the spirit don't die, it never dies, it never dies. No, it's clear he's speaking to you. Yeah, uh huh. And you know what? And here's another thing too. Another reason why he's uh speaking to me is because uh my cousin Rose. He know that me and my cousin uh Rose we are uh, we always been close. And plus, my cousin Rose she smoked weed, and my brother smoked weed. I don't smoke. I don't smoke. But um, he went in through the person that he knew he could get into to get to me. You understand? Because that's that, that's they will she would relate you know he you know what I'm trying to say because my brother was a weed he smoked he smoked he he smoked he ain't, he ain't had no qualms about it he was smoking weed and he, I know he was um I think it was in high school he was about eighteen yeah about eighteen he been smoking he he, he always he he was functional he went to work and all that stuff he wasn't one of them he was never wild and nothing like that is what I'm trying to say he was one of them but yeah and um uh, so that was deep so y'all what y'all think about that isn't that deep that was real deep. What y'all think? I'm looking. This thing slow as Methuselah. Uh, somebody, somebody, uh, somebody got this six nine X X site. Lord, have mercy. What's going on with all that? Oh Lord, somebody got all that stuff on there. But anyway, I already like. Yeah, Rose is cool. And see, oh, let me tell you about my cousin Rose. Let me tell you about her history. Not her history, but she, uh, her mother, her mother lived with my great great grandmother and she was raised in the house with my great great grandmama and papa so she's old she's an old head and she uh, you know i told y'all i be knowing things that i ain't both you know how i know things and don't know how i know things and why i know things but i know things about you and you could be a stranger to me well i'm not the only person in my family that has that ability to see, hear, and say things. I'm not the only person in my family. You understand? So that's another reason I believe my brother went in through her to get to me. Uh-huh. But I felt something because that's why I was uh, you know, had to lay back. But if I was much more quieter, I probably would have heard all of that, you know, more. But it wasn't for me to go in that way. But I still got what he was saying, you know. Oh, and y'all remember when I made a video? When I um remember I made a video that I said um uh ain't nobody never came back from the dead. Everybody that we love, we always, you know, we don't because we don't know what's gonna happen with somebody past. And I said, Ain't nobody we ever loved, like whoever it was, ever came back and told us what happened after they died. So we really don't know what happened after the person died. But I said, I do believe that people still um will contact you. You know, or you can hear from them or, you know, you have a feeling that he's still there or they'll do little things where you'll know that they're present. But they never told you, um, you know, they would never tell you uh, what happened. You know what I'm trying to say. So but I'm telling you, I know that was that was my brother for a fact. And another thing uh, that tell me that and when she said he said, um, uh, make my coffee, he was a person that would. Uh, he was real short with his words. He was real short with his words. He, he, in other words, he was a smart ass. <laughs> so that's some shit he was saying. Yeah, make my coffee. You know, he, he's, he's he's smart. You know, he was a uh, real smart ass. <laughs> but um, oh yeah, tell me you better have my shit ready when I call or something like that. You know, yeah. But who in the world is this? Um, y'all y'all tell me. Oh, oh, it's clear that he still speaks to you all, and you're still. Yeah, uh-huh. And I just want y'all to know the reason, another reason why I'm telling y'all that too is because um another reason why I'm telling y'all that too is because here come the holidays and stuff, right? And a lot of people get all depressed and stuff, right? Thinking about their loved ones, people that they love and go miss. Because as a family, we always get together, but we get together every day. I mean, my brother that just passed, 
I see him. I used to see him every day. I mean, he was physically here every day at my house. They're going to come to me. Everybody come to me. They're going to see, I'm going to see them. Not just talk on the phone. I'm going to really see them. Right. So, um, and, and a lot of pe families are like that. That's kind of tight like mine's, right? And um, when somebody passed in your family and when the holidays and stuff come, people start tripping and started getting really depressed and, uh, you know, and feeling deep. And not saying that there's nothing wrong with uh, acknowledging how you feel and saying one or two minutes or spending one or two minutes on missing them and, you know, saying how you expressing how you feel. But move on because them people ain't going nowhere. It's just the house we live in. And I know that. I've been knowing that for a long time. I'm just telling y'all this about my brother because y'all been following this story about him being sick all the way up until he died. But he's not the only one that came back and said something when they passed, you know, to let us know he, they were okay. My father let me know he was okay. My grandmother, they, it's different people to let you know, but you have to pay attention. And another reason why I was telling you I'm all da 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 and feeling all blah, 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 and, more, you know, getting all, you know, y'all anxious and all that kind of stuff. And that's why it's, a, it's really important for us to kick back and pull ourselves back for a minute, uh, withdraw from withdraw from the noise. If it ain't nothing but for 48 hours, 24 hours, some people need longer, but we need to really show enough, consider withdrawing from the noise. Because if we don't, we won't hear shit. You understand? We won't have no guidance. We won't have no center. We'll start losing ourselves and getting caught up in all this craziness. And y'all, like I said, this a holiday. When I say this holiday coming, I'm talking about that Thanksgiving, that Christmas, and all that, all that, all that noise. I call it all that noise because it's noise, it's noise. Because a whole lot of people can't handle that. They start getting depressed and all that stuff because they're missing the people that they wish they were was was around them. But I'm telling you that if you go to any cemetery in the world, any one of them in the world, every individual person that's laying a uh, body that's in that ground. It's just the house they lived in. It's just the house they lived in. The spirit never dies. Know that for yourself. But the spirit never dies. It's just the house. That's it. Point blank period. Okay? That's what I want y'all to know. All right, let me read some more. All right? It's clear that, yeah, I want to know why there's all this old sexy stuff coming up here. I know you like Rose. Rose is deep. Yeah, I like to. She and I talk. You know, you have friends and people and family members that you can talk to about certain things. That other family members won't get it, you know. <laughs> as long as we keep our spirit from unclean. Let me get back. As long as we keep our spirit from, un, uh, from unclean spirits on earth, it's allow heavenly loved ones to visit us. Yes, it do. We do. We do. And we do have to have, and we have to have peace to be still. We most do. I agree with you, Regina. You know, because other people can't contaminate your spirit. You see, that shit can contaminate your spirit. You have to be careful of who you let in your house and who you let into your spirit. You know why? Let me tell you why. Let me break that down for y'all real quick. Do you know everybody is in a spiritual bubble? We're in a realm. We are all magnetic. We all have a rim, uh, an aura is what you may want to call it, around us. We all do. You can blow your aura up, you can blow it up, or you can keep it small. And that's why when you get to other people and you run into contact with other people, you don't even have to know them. But it'd be like, hmm, there's something about that person that I, uh, mm, I'm not feeling, you know? That's because your energy aura and that person's energy aura connected in an unmeshing type way. If you feel that about a person, day one, don't fool with them. See, that's listening to what your spirit has to say. But you can't if you got somebody else saying, well, that's my friend. And this person is so good. This person is that. This person is that. And then you let your aura or God down, and then you start messing with that. No, 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 uh-uh. If it don't feel right, it ain't right for you. It might feel all right for that person, but it don't feel right for you. You feel me? So you do have to listen to your, listen to what your spirit has to say. That's why I always say it in the morning time. That's why I take a break away from everything, and I hear what the spirit has to say to me. You see? But that's that's, that's so true. That is definitely so true. I want to know who want to um who who so uh who like to put this little stuff in here 
Oh, this six nine, this the X fun thing. Lord have mercy, somebody is really weird. Oh, you have to black block the spam. Oh, I just put um, I did. I hit the thing on here to say. I guess it's called block. Oh, click right three. Oh, the oh, I see. Click the right three dots and then hit it. Uh huh. Wow, people are tripping. Ain't they? they be doing some crazy stuff. But yeah, y'all, I don't want to make this last for you long. I wanted to tell y'all that. But I also wanted to tell y'all something else, too. <laughs> this is another part. This is another part to that. Well, how I might should make that another different, a different live stream because that's another deep thing. Okay, now I'm gonna tell y'all now. Okay, so look, <laughs> y'all want to hear it now? <laughs> y'all want me to tell y'all now? Okay, so look. So how y'all feel about how do y'all feel about a girlfriend of yours or a guy friend of yours uh, messing with one of your family members? Y'all tell me that. Oh, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that, Regina. The devil trying to come in the chat. Yeah, I know it. But you know what? That ain't going to happen. I know. I know. You're right. That's what happened. And I was thinking the same thing when that fire, when I my, uh, was making the fire. I said, for some reason, they don't want me to tell the spirit. Because I told you I was going to be on here at 10 o'clock. And, and, and I got on here like 10, 20 or something like that. I was like, damn, I wanted to be on time to make sure I could catch the people. But then my spirit said, the right people that need to hear this is going to hear this anyway. So, but um, yeah, it's, it's like all them distractions, right? But look. Yeah, how do y'all feel about um how do y'all feel about this? Because this reason why I'm saying this is I have this girlfriend. So I said supposed girlfriend, but anyway, uh she had uh she had sex with my brother, the one that passed, and didn't even come to the damn funeral. And didn't even tell me that she did it, but I already know she had sex with him because he told me himself. And I've been holding that for a long time. And if she hear this video, I don't give a damn. <laughs> But I've been knowing from day one that he had relationships with her. You see what I'm saying? And she was my friend. She and I still was treating her like my friend. But since the funeral, uh, uh, she didn't come to the she didn't come to the funeral. She and I told she knew it was um his funeral and all that. She knew everything was going on, so she knew all of that. But see, this kind of person I am is is like I can still love you even if you do some tricky shit, right? And I love to do that tricky shit, but. So she didn't come to the funeral. I thought that that was disrespectful. So guess what I did? I simply dismissed her. How did I dismiss her? I just ain't see her or talk to her no more. I just cut her off. See, I can cut you off real easy. You know, I can cut you quick. And you know, but I go. I take a long. It take a long time for me to get there. You know, I give you chances and chances and say, oh, that baby don't know nothing. You know, whatever. But when I get to a point where it's like, now, nah, wait a minute, enough is enough now. Now, that's going a little too far. You mean to tell me you can't go to the funeral of a man that you done did it to? That's some cold-hearted shit. Because even if you was a tricky bitch, like, even if you was uh, somebody that's messing with somebody, a husband or or something, it looked like you would reach out to the sister or the auntie or somebody and say, um, give my condolences from the background. Damn, you got to be a cold bitch to have a relationship with a man. I'm talking about sexual relationship with a man and knowing the family and knowing everybody and knowing them. I ain't talking about no one night stand. I'm talking about just like knowing them. you might not, you not had maybe, maybe not have had sex more than one time, but I mean enough. I mean, just, but you know, the family, it's like, that's some, that's some cold hearted shit. That's some, that's some, that's some black widow shit to me. I'm looking to hear y'all. I'm reading y'all. You have to, oh, that's, well, I gotta do that again, Virginia. Oh, you said that. Oh, wait a minute. That is how I am enough. Oh yeah, that's how I am enough. Yeah, because you know you can't. I mean, people or something. Yeah. It's like you can you can do it for like. Okay, so let me tell you how long it been. It's been almost maybe about three or four years since I've known that she's had intercourse with him, and she never said anything to me about it, which is cool. I mean, I mean, because they, they're both grown people, but it looked like to me, if you respected me as a friend, you would have said, "Hey, yo." You know, and I already knew they liked each other because they was always flirting with each other and stuff. No problem. They grown people, right? He not married and she won't marry me. What the hell? But my thing is, out of respect for me as your friend, it looked like you would say, hey, hey, sis, look, I'm, um, let me see, I heard, I heard some. I don't know what that is. But it looked like you would say, hey, 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 sis, um, you know, um, I, I did your brother, your brother tight. You know, I might want to get with that. I was like, well, y'all grown, just don't tell me. that." What you, I would say, ooh, just don't tell me, you know, or something. Um, I'm reading the chat real quick. Hold on one second. We are. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, and we are. We, I, I think so. We are too old to keep telling people over, stuff over and over again. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't believe in that. If I, ain't, that's something that I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you something over and over again. I'm gonna say it one. And my, it's my, <laughs> my grandfather used to say, "I'm gonna tell you one time, not one time, one time." <laughs> he used to say that shit. And when he said that, you better believe. You better believe he gonna tell you one time. <laughs> But yeah, she's she didn't even um she didn't even tell me that she was gonna be doing this shit. I mean, it's like and then but then you come around me like everything cool and stuff like that. And I believe when you coming over my house and my family here, you coming to holler at me. But you coming to holler at my brother and my brother's friends, guy friends. I'm like, what the hell kind of shit is that? You know, you know I you know I ain't never trusted around my husband anyway. <laughs> because I know what type of bitch you were or is. But anyway, but I still love her though. Don't get it twisted. I still love her. If she really needed me for something, I damn sure would be there. But as far as um, and I told y'all before, I don't put nobody in my bosom. So that's another reason why it's easy for me to dismiss her. You know what I mean? But anyway. <laughs> hey Carl, how you doing? Where you been? What? Where you been? What? <laughs> you say good boy. Look, oh, it's still morning, dang. I don't know. I guess because I've been up since the crack. I thought it was at least afternoon. But I've been over here running my mouth, just running my mouth. <laughs> but yeah, so what y'all think about that? Would y'all dismiss? Would y'all um, if y'all had a friend that did it to one of your family members that that had relationships, had a sexual relationship with anybody in your family that was close to you and didn't tell you, and y'all call yourself friends, would y'all still be that friend, or would y'all just tell them, see you, bye bye, you know? Or should they tell you? Is it, it should it be any of your business? Is they two consent adults? Should should it be any of your business? You know, I think it should be your business because I think you should know. Because uh, I mean, because why not? If we grow, you can still say I like the man. I'm growing, and I just want you to know out of respect. I want you to know that I'm with him or whatever. What y'all think? This this thing must be on sixty seconds. What y'all laughing at? <laughs> I think this on a uh, slow delay, y'all. Y'all tell me what you think. And once y'all tell me what you think, I'm going to uh, listen to y'all. And then we're going to get up out here, you know, because uh, I, we we talking over here too long and I ain't getting a damn thing done talking to y'all. But I do feel better, though. I did miss y'all. You know, I looked at it, too. I think I don't think I did a, a live stream in like five or six months. I was like, Lord, have mercy. I got to do better than that. Because y'all know I like making my um videos on my phone, on my phone, because uh it's fast and quick and to the point, you know. And I be telling y'all something, give y'all a message and going on, you know. <laughs> that you know, I that's how I that's what I think I should be doing. Okay, most brothers get with your best friend. But you know what though? I didn't even know I that never happened. That was my first, that was the first, and like I said, we grown. I just found that out. It's like they just did it like four years ago, about four years ago. I mean, but it, as children, uh, they no, no, they ain't never did it to my best friend, <laughs> not my brothers. I mean, I guess the people that I hang with, they, they like them old fast tail girls. I, my, they like them hot tamales. <laughs> oh, most don't tell. Oh, but my brother, oh, they he would tell. I told you, man, my oldest brother, he he could he could tell me. That's the one. That, that's why he come and tell me, all right, <laughs> he could run his damn mouth. My baby brother is too. He gonna tell too, and gonna tell me not to tell nothing, not to say nothing. And before I can say something, he gonna tell it anyway. <laughs> That's how they are. But anyway, I ain't gonna hold y'all up, y'all. I think it's just on. I think this thing is. I, next time I'm gonna fix this thing, I'm gonna do it on um on the witch cup. You said I like you straight to the point. Oh, thank you. I like, but I, that's the kind of videos I like to do because that on and on. I'd be like. Lord have mercy. I hate for somebody to start telling the story and say, well, you know, and um, I was walking down the street and the grass was green and on the other side I saw a cat. I'd be like, get to the goddamn point. <laughs> I'd be wondering, okay, uh -huh. I guess because I talk fast. <laughs> your brother done, done had them all. Your brother, your brother, your brother had all your girlfriends, Regina. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, wow. No, no, my brother, they, no, they, they this is the only one of the brother that wanted this pass is the one. And he told it. I guess because he, I said, why are you telling me that shit for? But I'm, I'm glad he told me, though, so I would know. You know, because I'm like, damn. I mean, you did it to her? And then, and, and, and another thing he told me, too. He told me it won't no good. He told me all of that. <laughs> he told me it won't no good. I was like, oh, Lord. 
I kind of figured that anyway because I knew all the parts about her that he don't know nothing about, and I would never say nothing to him about it. But you know, hey, that's what you get for going there. <laughs> Look, everything that glitter ain't gold, ain't that what they say? Look, I got one of these things I was drinking too, y'all. And you know, I thought that these things have uh, you see these uh drinks right here, these uh these naked drinks. I was drinking one of these, and I was reading all this stuff on the back of it, and it was talking about all the good stuff that's supposed to be in this. But um, to me, y'all, it tastes real, real sweet. But it's saying it's just the regular sugars. But I have a suspicion that it's got some other type of sugar in here because all kinds of fruit juices don't. Uh, all these different fruits is not quite as sweet as they you know, as they saying. But anyway, the label look good. But anyway, so what y'all think, y'all? I'm gonna do more. I'm gonna start doing more live streams too. And you listen. I need to tell y'all to make sure y'all hit the uh like button. And I need to um. I know y'all already subscribed, but I looked at something on here um, today when I was setting this live stream up. It was telling me like it's almost 53 percent of people that watch me are not subscribed. I'm like, why in the hell would you watch somebody that you're not subscribed to? Well, I mean, if it, unless you just I don't know, I can't say that because if I click on somebody's video that I like, if I want to see it, that they got a nice video and I might watch it, I might not necessarily subscribe to them, especially if. Uh, I see a whole bunch of other kind of crazy shit, you know, but I still might watch a video. So that do make sense. But I would hit the like button, though. Uh huh. I don't know. I might start taking this thing seriously. I don't know. I might. <laughs> well, I might just keep on making my videos on my phone and upload them. Either way, I'm having fun and I enjoy talking to you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Oh, one more thing. And then I'm gonna, oh, let me read this. But then I'm going to tell you this, too. OK, so. Now, you know, the phone, I got a phone. I told you another phone that my brother gave me. So I'm keeping that one alive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to one day have a live stream where we, instead of me reading all this stuff I hear, I'm going to let y'all call me and while we on live and I can talk to y'all. Y'all can ask me stuff and I can talk to y'all. All right. I'm, I don't care what you ask me. And I'm going to put you on speaker so people can hear you, too. What y'all think about that? Won't that be fun? OK, you said my brother's who talk. Oh, yeah. My oldest brother was, too. He was something else. Honey. He was something else. He was a piece of work. Uh, he had three daughters, and uh, he had three daughters, and one. I, my mama told y'all about that. We, we, it was really we said four, but it's really we called we claimed that one day he found out one his after she was like thirty some years old. But he was smooth too, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And they liked them kind. Madeline Johnson, thank you, yo. After losing my eldest son last month, your elderly son, your your oldest son. Oh, last month. There's truth in what you said. Peace and blessings. You know something, Alan? I, I'm going to tell you this right now. I could not imagine losing any one of my children. I have a son and a daughter. I could not imagine that. I could not imagine how you feel. I really can. But I do want you to know that I believe, I really, I really believe in my heart that the spirit never dies. Only, only the flesh. I really believe it. And I've had too many examples. I'm 60 years old. And too many examples in my life of what I just told you guys about with my brother experience that I've had with other people in my family that has been passed, has passed over. Too many experiences that I've had. And I couldn't even tell y'all all of it because you would be like unbelievable. Spirit never dies. Never. And let me tell you something else. Let's just follow that up. If you believe that the spirit died, then how do you believe in a God? Hmm? If you believe that the spirit dies, then how do you believe in a God? Isn't God a spirit? Leave you with that. Okay? Spirit never dies. Uh-huh. What is your... Oh, yeah. What's the carb on the drink? Let's see. It says... Let's see. 63 grams, Regina. So you know some sugar up in there. Uh, it says 63 grams, and it got uh, the total value. That's at 23 percent. So you know it's some um, it's some sugars up in there. Oh yeah, that would be fun, Regina. I think it would be fun too. Yeah, call in. Let's do it. Cause I like talking to people, and then sometimes y'all might have a situation or a problem, and oh, yo might be able to solve it. I might have been there, done that. Who knows? Oh, I can tell you what I would do if I was in that situation. Not that you give a damn, but, you know, it might help you out one, you know, especially when it comes to survival. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
And well, and then life stuff too. It ain't necessarily survival. It could be, it could be anything. You know, as long as you live, you're gonna learn something. And I never stop learning. I learn something new every day, every day. Okay, okay, you asked me that. Yeah, that's right, Matthew. Thank you. Tell them, y'all, please hit the like button for old yo. <laughs> we oh, you hope I start taking this seriously? You know, I said I'm gonna start, but it's just I've been so daggone busy doing stuff, and I don't want to promise y'all nothing, and I'll be um like I'm supposed to. Like if I make a commitment to something, I wanna I wanna really do it. And see, I need to start doing some studying. If I really want to do this, I mean, I have to take time out to figure out how to do edits. I have to figure out how to make my page the way I want it to make it pop. Because I don't do shit half ass right now. I'm half ass right now with y'all. Me talking to y'all on this thing like this and me doing that little phone thing on that YouTube, I'm seriously half ass. But when I set my mind on doing something, I do it. <laughs> I do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to have my daddy used to say, roll it around in my head a little bit and contemplate on it. But I'm definitely going to get on here if I come half ass and talk to y'all on the phone because I'm going to run my mouth with y'all. We're going to do some call ins and see what's going on. I like to do that. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. I want to get to know your business. I've been telling y'all my business. Let me, tell you, let me get into your business a little bit. <laughs> Let's see what you said. Uh-huh. Truth be told. That's right. That's right, Madam Johnson. I'm telling y'all what I know. Yeah, but you know what? I ain't gonna hold y'all up no more because I think this um this chat is moving kind of slow too. And I think I got it on the wrong thing or whatever. But I enjoy talking to you guys and I hope y'all uh got something out of this. Just know that this I'm a in a summary. Know that the spirit never dies. You know, you're just in the flesh. We are spiritual beings. We're all here on this earth, spiritual beings. We are all connected in some way, shape, or form. I don't know how, but I know that we are. I know that we are. And I also know that we have a spiritual realm around us. I also know that if your spirit tell you one thing, you do what your spirit tell you to do. Because if you go against the spirit, if you go against the grain, you're going to have problems every time. You're going to have problems every time. If you don't listen to your first voice, that first thing they say, oh, I better not do that. And they say, oh, well, if I do that, ain't nothing going to happen. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You better you better listen to your first spirit, your first, your first mind, your first mind. You better listen to your first mind. If you don't, you'll get in trouble. And don't go seeking advice from somebody that don't know shit and ain't been through shit. How somebody gonna tell you about this life and they ain't never went uh, been, uh, been through it? How? How that work? They can suspect. They can say maybe if possibly this could happen, but if they've never been in your shoes, they can't tell you how to feel or how to think. Just like I was telling you, sweetheart, Madeline. I can't tell you how to feel. I don't know how that feel. I can't imagine how that feel. But what I do know is the spirit never died. See, I just told you something that I know. You <laughs> see, that's what I'm saying. You got to you got to connect yourself and be around people, you know, be around people that mean you some good. If they don't mean you no good, you wasting your life. You, you asking for problems. You asking for problems. You asking for problems. And, and what better way to be with yourself and learn to love yourself? Being by myself. I love being by myself. I really do. I love myself better than I love myself. And when I want to come on my bag and talk to people, that's what I do. But when I want to fool with you, I stay in my hole. And you know, what's wrong with that? Nothing. That's just the way I feel sometimes, you know? All right, let's see. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. I'm going to take it seriously, Matthew. I told you that. I'm going to do it for real. I might just go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. I'm just reading this, y'all. You said, I will help you with choosing editing apps. Oh, okay. Thank you, Regina. Thank you. I got to get into that. I got to I gotta figure that stuff out, Regina. Because um, I, like I said, I haven't, the only thing I did was uh, get far enough to watch a YouTube video and say how to start a live. <laughs> and that's all I did. I've never um, dove any deeper into this, you know? Mm-hmm. I've never went any deeper. Okay, so put your email address in your profile so we can send your email. Well, yeah, I, I, I do have it in there now. I do have it in my um, profile thing, Matthews. It is, I have two email addre addresses, but I want y'all to use the one. It's your thoughts at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. It's in my profile. You can send me a message. 
But you can call me too. I don't care. But y'all know, because y'all niggas ain't going to be ringing my phone off the hook. I go to bed at a certain time. You know, I'm going to put y'all on mute. <laughs> I don't know why I should have put the telephone number out there. What are your hundred your thoughts? <laughs> uh, yes, I'm well aware. An uh, introvert I am. Yeah, ain't no wrong with that. Ain't no wrong with that. Yep. Me too. Me too. Yeah, we could do what we, we can. Sometimes we can be, it, it depends on our bad, how we feel. We should go according to how we feel. That's how we should live our life, according to how we feel. And hopefully it don't hurt nobody else, you know? That's how we should do it. That's living for real, you know? I, I always, you'll be, oh, thank you. And thank you, Amelia Dixon. I'm glad you do. Thank you. Get a good Google phone. For a call in. I don't know what kind of phone that is, bro. I gave me. I ain't going to know that getting no phone for y'all though. I'm gonna tell you that. I'm gonna tell you I put a uh ask your questions in here. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I'm frugal, I'm very frugal. Oh yeah, y'all know y'all hear me here twisting stuff around, trying to twist things and make things stretch. Oh, get a Google number. Oh, I got you. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that could I could do that. Uh huh. But I can still I can use the number my brother's number. He's not no he's no longer here, and his phone is operable. You see what I'm saying? It's already a number. I don't have to go through nothing extra. If I told you a telephone number now, I could tell you the number. And you can call me straight away. You see what I'm saying? So I think that would probably be better. But that is true. It's free. I see what you're saying too. Yeah. But I really appreciate y'all. I ain't gonna hold y'all day up no more. Okay. Y'all have a great holiday season, a holiday Thanksgiving day, but y'all better do something for somebody else every day, y'all. Forget about the Thanksgiving stuff. Do something every day for people here. You be, you'll feel better. You'll feel better. If somebody needs you sometime, I mean, they, they need your help. They need you. They might not say they need you, but they need you, you know? And then give it to people that are, that you, I mean, if, if, if you feel them, if you feel a person, say something nice to them. Do something nice for them, you know? If you just feel them. You know, what's wrong with that? I don't see nothing wrong with it. I'm going to do something nice to y'all. and I'm going to let y'all go. <laughs> All right. All right, baby. Salute, Carl. Bye, everybody. Y'all have a great holiday. I'm going to talk to y'all later. I hope I ain't uh, dragged this thing out too long. <laughs> but anyway, y'all understand. Peace, everybody. Love y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all soon. Peace. I'm trying to end this thing. Did it end? I think it did.